Good afternoon. My name is Kim Uecker. I'm with Stratacom. Today we're going to be talking about the SRC, the Service Request Catalog Module. This module is intended to replace the ESS, Employee Self-Service Module, in the existing Service Manager tool. The SRC module is built on the existing Service Catalog inside Service Manager, so any of the existing catalog items that you have currently built will also be applicable and usable within the SRC module. And with all of that, let's go over and log in to the SRC module. Upon logging into the SRC module, you can see that we have a beautiful portal here that's very colorful and has all of the information available for a user on one screen, very nice and neatly packaged and organized. The first area here is the service status. This allows you to get status on all of your existing requests in the tool. You can see all of those items that have been approved, any items that are currently pending, items that have been rejected, and also any of your closed items as well. If you want to click on one of those statuses, we'll then be taken to the request inbox where then you can see all of your pending requests on the right hand side here, and we can even drill in and look at one of those items. We can see who is pending on the request, and all of the request details and the line items that make up that particular request. And we can even do view history to see exactly when that request was made. Returning to the dashboard, the second area is our support status. Like the service status, this allows us to see the status of our open support tickets that we have in the tool. We either have open tickets or closed support tickets. We can click on the open. And again, we're taken to the request inbox where we can see all of our open support tickets. And we can click on any one of those as well and get more information. We can see that this is open and linked. That means it is linked to an incident ticket. And we can go ahead, actually, if we want, and update this ticket. We can change, if desired, the contact method if we want to be contacted by phone. And then we can also um, give more details. And go ahead and click Update. And it's been updated that easily. Returning to the dashboard, the next area is Approvals. If this individual had any approvals, he, you would see them here. We will look at that a little bit later after we open a request and we go over to the approvers uh, user ID. In the next area is the packages. Packages are within the catalog a listing of a num. It is a bundle and what the bundle is, it's a number of line items that are always requested together. New application hosting has a number of line items that make up that particular bundle as well as a new employee has a number of items that are always requested when you do a new employee. So we're going to go ahead and make a request for a new application. When we click on new application you can see that we have a nice description here with the header for new application hosting. We can also see the package contents below it and if you scroll over each one of those, a uh, mouse over excuse me, you can see a description of each of those items that make up this particular request. We're going to go ahead and make a request and you can see that we have a beautiful request button over here on the right hand side that's orange which means that it's something that's not complete. So when we go ahead and click on that we're opening a new item here and you'll notice as I said the bar is orange that means that it is something that is in progress. We're going to continue to open this for Jennifer, although I could change that if desired. When I hit continue, the order information accordions shut. I do have the ability to go back and edit that if I want, but you'll notice that it turned green. Green means that that area has been completed successfully and is ready to move forward. We can either save this request to view later or we can request this now as a new item and we're going to go ahead and request it now. 
Each request requires a name. And we're going to go ahead and describe the request. As I fill in items, you'll notice that there's a green check mark off to the right side of each one of the fields. This means that each one of those areas has been completed successfully and is ready to move forward. So I can click Continue. The delivery information accordions shut and then the next area is open. It's now asking me how I want to be contacted. I can select either email, phone, or pager. And we're going to select email. And again, you can see that the green check mark. Hit Continue. The attachments accordions open. However, attachments aren't required and we're not going to put them on there today. We hit Continue. And now everything is green. It's all ready to go. We hit Submit. And now we've opened our new ticket. It was really that easy. We can click on Status to go and look at the progress for this request. And then, or we can return to the Dashboard, Services, or Support tabs and continue. The Popular Requests area is just as it is in the current tool where you can actually um, service manager dynamically determines which ones are the more popular of the requests that are being requested and adds them to a popular requests area. These, it enables the user to very quickly and easily get to these requests to uh, enact them. And there, we can see them here by just clicking between the little dots down at the bottom to switch between them. We can click on the in, individual request itself to launch it and create a new request. The assistance area simply is instructional information that is helpful for using the SRC module inside this tool here. And that's pretty much all that that does. On the services tab, if we go there directly, you'll see that it has a nice workflow definition. It has what all of the individual icons mean that you may encounter during your visit here. You can select a new employee to do it, request a service for, or I can request it for myself just by browsing the catalog. And you'll notice that browsing the catalog looks very familiar to what you do today, only it's a lot cleaner. And if I didn't want that item, I can also very easily type in what I want to search on. Here are my email items. I need a password reset, so I'm going to request that. Hit request. Press continue. Since it is my email that is affected, I definitely want to be notified by phone because I obviously can't get my email at this time. So that's how easy it is to enter tickets and the support tickets also allow you to have support items that are defined in the catalog as well. And if needed, I can also create a support item that is not in the catalog. So I can click on Create. I get to give it a name. Click Continue. I could actually, if I wanted, change who the request is for at this point in time. You can see that I can search on another individual. Again, I need to supply my contact method. Hit Continue. Provide any additional information. 
the urgency, press continue, and submit, and I've submitted my request, my support ticket. We're going to go ahead and log off as Jennifer at this point. The SRC application is an Adobe Flex application and it is a really beautiful uh, tool to work with. We're in the process of logging off here. It sometimes does take a minute or two. Okay, now that we've logged off, we're going to log back on as an approver. You can see that the dashboard looks entirely differently for an, the approver. Uh, he has no service status or no support status items in his queue. However, he has seven items waiting for his review. So we can go under the approvals and click on review. And all of those items are listed here for his review. We can go ahead and click on this one. And this is just looking for the password reset. Not a problem. We're going to go ahead and approve that. We're going to click on one of the other items. And in this particular case, we're going to th say that we need more information on this. Maybe we are missing something. We can hit reject, and it's going to ask us why we're rejecting it. We can hit reject, and that's how easy it was to approve and reject items inside the tool. This pretty much covers all of the functionality in the new SRC module. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and if you have any more questions or you would like more information, please feel free to contact Laura Walker at lwalker at stratacominc.com. Thank you very much for your time.